When we hear the word vision, we most often think about eyesight or our ability to perceive shapes and objects and faces and colors. And indeed, vision involves eyesight, our ability to see shapes and objects and faces and colors and so forth. However, our eyes are responsible for much more than that, including our mood, our level of alertness, and all of that is included in what we call vision. Our eyes have never been under more strain than they are today. We spend hours staring at computer screens, smartphones, and other devices, leading to strained, dry, sore, and burning eyes, which in turn can cause headaches and neck or back pain. But that's not the worst of it. In fact, according to Andrew Huberman, most people lose between 1 and 3% of their vision each year. Keeping your eyes out of trouble and improving your vision is trivially simple. First of all, ask yourself a question. How often do you blink? According to Huberman, dry eyes are the leading cause of visual impairment today. Dry eyes can be caused by infrequent blinking, especially when we don't close our eyelids often enough. We stare at a screen for hours while focusing hard and getting tired. We blink too infrequently, causing the tear film on the cornea to become insufficient to protect the eyes from drying out. Blinking, like breathing, occurs unconsciously. We open and close our eyes about 10, 15 times a minute. It's a reflex, so it happens quickly. When we are working at a screen or reading, we concentrate so hard that we forget to blink. We unconsciously suppress this reflex, resulting in dry eyes in just a few minutes. The too thin tear film on our eyes becomes uneven, which eventually leads to its damage. After that, our vision becomes blurred. The body tries to cope with the deterioration of vision, as a result of which we start to stare forward. This not only leads to discomfort, but also tires the eyes and can also cause headaches. To avoid dry eyes, make sure you blink regularly while working by closing your eyes tightly for a while and opening them again. This will activate the meibomian gland ducts at the edges of your eyelids. The meibomian gland ducts produce a fatty secretion that mixes with the fluid produced in the tear ducts and prevents the tear film from evaporating quickly. This allows your eyes to stay moist. Andrew Huberman himself advises following the rule of 20. This rule is, every 20 minutes, look at a point about 20 meters away from you for 20 seconds. This procedure is easy to do while working and avoids eye strain when using digital devices. An eyelid massage is also a great way to relieve eye strain. It can be performed using light pressure on the upper and lower eyelids. This helps to relax the eye muscles, improve eye circulation, and avoid dry eyes. Try experiencing the rule of 20 or eyelid massage right now. And then, share your impressions in the comments of this video. According to Dr. Huberman, proper lighting also plays a key role in maintaining eye health and improving vision. When working at a computer or reading books, you need to ensure optimal light levels to reduce eye strain and prevent potential vision problems. One of the most important aspects is choosing the right lamp or light fixture. The optimal solution is to use light sources with natural light or light that is close to it. Andrew Huberman states that it is best to use lamps that imitate daylight. Such a light source will provide even illumination and minimize brightness variations, which will significantly improve working conditions. In addition to choosing the right light source, it is also important to pay attention to the position of the luminaire. It should be positioned so that the light falls on the work surface without creating reflections or side glare. Additional lighting on the desk or a spot of light directed at the work area will help minimize eye strain and improve visibility. If possible, it's also worth using an adjustable lamp that can be used to change the brightness of the light and create optimal working conditions. It is important to remember that light that is too bright can cause visual fatigue and light that is too dim can make it difficult to read or work with small objects. In addition to selecting and positioning a light fixture, Andrew Huberman recommends creating even lighting throughout the workspace. This can be accomplished by using several light sources at different levels or directed at different areas of the desk. This will help reduce eye strain and create a comfortable working environment. Providing the right light in the workplace is an important aspect of maintaining healthy eyes and improving vision. When it comes to improving eyesight, few people think about eye hygiene. According to Andrew Huberman, our eyes are the most unprotected organ. 
he advises that first and foremost, you should be careful to keep your hands clean, especially people who use contact lenses. Also, it's best to wash your face after a walk in the fresh air. During washing, use running water or special products, and you should not clench your eyes too much. Because often sand, dirt, or other debris can linger on the eyelashes or eyelids, this can subsequently lead to various diseases or micro traumas of the eyes. Also, you should avoid drafts. Fresh air is good for your eyes, but a draft can ruin your vision. Avoid drafts created by air conditioners or fans in rooms with strong ventilation and in cars. This will prevent dry eyes or eye infections. That said, Dr. Huberman recommends opening a window periodically and shielding the room from the sun's rays in the summer so they don't blind you. Also, we should not forget that our eyes are very susceptible to the negative effects of the environment. Therefore, in order to preserve the quality of your vision, you should think about protecting your eyes from harmful effects. If you go to the swimming pool, make sure to use swimming goggles. They will protect your eyes from chlorine because this chemical is irritating and can cause eye inflammation. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun can damage the cornea, lens, or other parts of the eye. Therefore, make sure to wear sunglasses when you go outdoors during periods of bright sunshine. When choosing sunglasses, opt for UV protection that blocks up to 100% of the rays. Wear a large hat or cap along with your sunglasses, because hats block about 50% of UV rays. Andrew Huberman believes that water balance can be a key factor in promoting the health of your eyes. Drinking plenty of water can effectively help combat dry eyes. Drinking three liters of water or unsweetened tea a day will allow your eyes to get all the moisture they need. In addition to water balance, don't forget to get quality sleep. Getting enough sleep will allow your eyes to recover. In general, it is recommended to sleep seven, eight hours a night. This is very beneficial for people suffering from eye strain. Avoid exposure to blue light emitted from the screen before going to sleep. Blue light signals your body and eyes to wake up. According to Huberman, it is light that controls your internal clock. Light has a proven effect on the sleep-wake cycle. The so-called sleep hormone melatonin plays a central role in this process. When exposed to blue light, special receptors in your eyes signal that you need to reduce the amount of melatonin secreted in order to stay alert and awake. Avoiding exposure to blue light in the evening leads to an increase in the amount of melatonin secreted, causing you to feel tired and fall asleep. Also, Andrew Huberman advises sleeping in a room where any light sources will be minimized. Only in this way, your eyes and brain will be able to fully rest, and you in turn will get the most comfortable and healthy sleep. Using today's recommendations from Dr. Huberman, you can effectively take care of your eye health and improve your vision. But don't forget to consult your doctor. Visit your eye doctor at least once a year to get the most accurate information about your eye health. This way you will be sure that you are doing everything right. In addition, with the help of a specialist, you will be able to choose the most appropriate diet to improve your eyesight. Because eating the right foods can help improve your vision. Sometimes though, even the right foods can be detrimental to your body. Don't believe me? Then you should definitely watch this video about healthy foods that can kill you. It will appear on your screen now. All you have to do is click on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Health and Wellness so that you don't miss out on useful tips for your health. See you, dear viewers.